guys, this is Mary. I'm so glad you could stop by Cards TV today. I've been looking through all of my Halloween cartridges, trying to find things that I haven't done before, and I wanted to find some cute little boxes to put candy in, because I like to give candy at the office, and I've got two cute little girls who live next door to me and I wanted to give them something special as well as my grandkids. So I started looking through the cartridges and I found something I did not know was in Happy Hauntings. Now if you go through here you'll see that they have this haunted mansion at what I thought was the end of the book. I didn't know there was anything past this, and I never looked beyond this because I knew this is a pretty ambitious project right here, and I just never really looked past it. So if you keep going, look at this. This would take quite a while. It would be awesome when it was done, but it would take quite a while. But keep going. And you can see why I never went past it. I thought this is all that was in the cartridge. Lots and lots of pages. On page 100, right after you get past that mansion, here are two cute little pumpkin boxes. So I looked on the next page, 101. And here are two more cute little boxes that look like tombstones. And then on the very back page, 102, there's a spider box. Who knew? I sure didn't. <laughs> so today, I'm going to try and do one of these pumpkin boxes just to see how it turns out. It looks really cute. And one of them is kind of tall. Then the other one is more uh, like the shape of a pumpkin. We've got on layer one, there are two green, or I'll make them green, tops. This one goes on the tall pumpkin box, and then this one's for the smaller one, or the shorter one. And we've got three different faces. These two are really spooky, and then this one looks like kind of a scary woman's face. So I think I'm going to do this box today, and this face. And we're going to get this cut out, and see what size it is, and how well it will turn out for holding some goodies for the kids, the neighbors, and the office workers. So I'm going to go ahead get this one cut out and we'll come back and put it together. Got the pumpkin all cut out and here are the pieces for the face and then the two pieces for the green top of the pumpkin. Now I didn't know what size this was going to turn out so I just used fit to page and it cut this out at 11 and a half inches and you can see once I get this scored it's going to make a pretty nice size little goodie box. So I'm going to get the Martha Stewart scoreboard over here and all the little score lines are marked by the Cricut. So I'm going to line these up on the scoreboard and get this scored and it should go together real quickly. Okay, I've got all my lines scored and you can see how this is going to go together just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the face on mine. I think it'll be easier to do it before I get it all stuck together. I got my face all adhered on here and then I thought I want him to say boo or something. So I decided I was going to have to add like a little speech bubble on here because I didn't really leave any place to stamp. So I got out the George cartridge and cut this little speech bubble and you'll find that on page 118 and you can see mine has been flipped. I just used the flip feature and I cut this out at an inch and a quarter and I went over to my more spooky saying stamp set and right here is boo. There's also yikes, bewitching, spooky, Hocus Pocus, Hiss, Wicked, Jeepers Creepers, Chilling. There's a lot of different ones I could use. Creepy. But I'm going to use Boo for this one. So, I've got my mat that I like to use for stamping. I've already put Boo on my stamp press. 
and I'm going to get this inked up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And just stamp Boo on here. There we go. I like that font. It's creepy. Oh yeah, that'll be really cute. So I'm only going to attach just one side of this right there. And then we're going to get this put together. Okay, I've got my eighth of an inch score tape. And I'm just going to put this on these little flaps right here. And if you need any score tape, you'll find this over at the Scrapbooking Queen's Royal Castle Shop on Facebook. And I'll have a link at the end of the video and also in the description on YouTube under the video. And I'll have a link over at my blog. So you can go over. It comes in lots of different widths. And Teresa will be real happy to send some out to you. But this works great. So I'll get all this on here and take that backing off. And we'll get this little box put together. I think it's going to be super cute. I've got all the backing off. And now we're going to put this together. I'm going to stand it up. Fold those little flaps in. And I think probably it'll be easiest just to do it like this. Just fold it down. Get this one side. And fold this one in. Can you see that? And I'll fold these in and just close this side up. you see how that's going together? And then this has a little tab on it right there. And this has a slit. So that little tab will go right into that slit. And that's how you close your box up. Here's our spooky pumpkin box all finished. And here it is closed up at the top. And I'll just open this and fill it with candy. And then put that tab back in there. Here's the front. Here it is from the sides. And here's the back. And you could write on the back who you're giving this to. Or you could take some baker's twine or some jute and just uh, tie a little tag right up here at the top if you wanted to. But I think that turned out really cute and it was really quick and easy to put together. And like I said, I cut this one at fit to page which worked out to be 11 and a half inches but you could certainly make these smaller if you wanted to thank you so much for coming by today guys i'll see you again soon bye now